to win the race. Does he win the championship? I don't know what to tell you. Is that a joke or are you serious? It's a bad joke if it is. Roland, it seems an incredibly long time ago now, but I want to drag all of us back to Newcastle and that amazing Sunday. Where does it bloom in your memory and the championships that you guys have put together in the last decade? Where does it rank? Oh, I mean, that's always a, that's always a difficult one. Look, I, I suppose that the, the real thing that was satisfying about it was that we beat um, the Penske organisation. But by the same token, you know, we've, we've beaten Pro Drive in its various iterations over the years many times. We've beaten the Walkinshaw organisation many times. You know, I don't want to take away anything from, from the competition that we've had up and down pit lane. Um, but none have been as, I suppose, powerful, as um, concentrated and as well funded as the, the Penske Challenge. You're a racer at heart. As a racer, when you woke up on Sunday morning, knowing what you'd done on the Saturday, the points deficit, and yeah, there was the mathematical possibility, but did you genuinely think you could stand there at the end of the day saying we are driver's champion? It was, it was a long shot after the Saturday. It shouldn't have been yeah. going into the weekend, but it was a long shot. Um, but you never give up yeah, and you have to hold your head high and I and, and that meant winning that race and whatever we did we were going to win that race and the problem is that there's not much time to sit back and soak in all that because along comes a new championship season which in this case for you folk represents a new car as well and the position that you've taken in the way this is rolling out is you're supplying to a large chunk of the field which is added pressure Clearly we've had a, a long gestation period, but it's actually been um, quite a difficult one just because of some of the things that went on the background, nothing to do with Holden, nothing to do with us, with the transfer of ownership of um, Opel to, to Peugeot in Germany. That had an adverse effect on some supplies of parts early in the program. Uh, we've had to recover from that, but we also didn't know how many cars people were going to want to run here. And to be honest, right up until Newcastle, we didn't really know that there were going to be 14 Holdens out here in, uh, in 2018 racing. And as the custodian of the Holden brand in motorsport, um, there is a duty somewhere to try and enable whoever wants to race a Holden Commodore in this category to race one. If we'd been bringing in a and other manufacturer, uh, there wouldn't have been that onus to do that. And to be honest, it would have been a lot easier. Tricky juggle, isn't it, to be able to be, on the one hand, a supplier and on the other hand, a competitor. We've been a supplier, yeah, a supplier in the UK. We've been a supplier here for years and years. Um, and uh, nothing irritates me more than seeing a car that we're responsible for in some way ahead of us on the track. But it's also a massive motivator. Congratulations again on 2017. Best wishes for the new season. We'll look forward to it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks mate. mate.